everyone, I'm Kathleen Levitt, President and CEO of the Spanish Fork Area Chamber of Commerce. I'm joining you today from the DIN, Spanish Fork CrossFit. We're right over here by the fairgrounds um, and we're super excited. I have Fran, it's one of the owners, and David. David. Perfect, yeah. you guys. Thanks for hosting us of today. Course. This Thank is great. It's a beautiful yeah, gym. Tell us a little bit about your CrossFit gym. Oh, well, there's a lot to tell you, but I'll give you the 15 second version. <laughs> we do. We have a lot of fun here at the den. We have been here, David and I have owned it for like a little over two years and we do high intensity functional fitness. Um, don't let it scare you though. We have a good time. We do all kinds of things and we have classes for all shapes, ages and uh, exercise experience. What? Um, yeah, I've been doing crosses for about three years. That's how I met Fern, uh, Fern and became, we became good friends. Uh, the idea came uh, in our kitchen table just kind of <laughs> out of the blue yeah. and we made it happen uh, I fell in love with CrossFit because of not the physical changes but the emotional and psychological changes he has helped me cope with anxiety and depression and a lot of the stuff that nobody really likes to deal with so this is a safe space for everybody and yeah come on over try it out so what is different about CrossFit versus just like going to a VASA or a regular gym and working out by yourself? What are some of the benefits and some of the perks of, of, of joining a CrossFit community? When you come to a CrossFit class, the moment you walk in the door, number one, someone's always going to say hi to you, the coaches or the members. Number two, uh, we teach you everything from warm up to cool down. We run, we tell you what we're doing, we tell you how we do it safely, how it's going to benefit you right now in the long term we want to make sure that we're uh, we're really inclusive like let's say you come in and you can you have an injury and you can't back squat with us today we're not just going to put you in the corner and say here you bike while we back squat we're going to make sure that we're um, always doing something that will progress you back into joining the the general population with the class okay. and you have a coach that's working with you the entire time mm -hmm. making sure that you're moving well that you're progressing well and because you come in and a coach is usually always the same coach yeah. we get to know you really well so I'll know if you have a tendency to round your back when you deadlift okay. or if maybe you are a little more timid and I know you can push a little harder mm -hmm. I'm here to make sure to give you that extra nudge so that you push a little harder some, some accountability some accountability <laughs> yes <laughs> that and we we track everything um, we have a leaderboard some people like to like play with each other and win okay. but really we like to track and measure objective results so that you can see that you're getting better mm -hmm. and so that I know you're making progress yeah okay yeah. that's great so it's kind of like personal training and you know a gym with a group with element. a group element yeah. cool so you have that accountability you have that kind of the the community building as well Definitely. okay what are some of the like you talked about mental psychological benefits can you explain that a little bit further yeah um, this actually answers uh, both questions uh, for me it's more when you go to Vasa per se I mean everybody's got their headphones they're all doing their own yeah. thing and you don't get to know the people that you're working next to day in and day out in this gym it's way different because we have uh, we have events that everybody goes to. Uh, we play pickleball on the weekends, so you get to know people. You know, we got babies that are welcome. We're welcoming a couple of babies from different members, so you get to know everybody, um, and that creates you know a space for people to open up and talk about other things and stuff. Yeah. So that's a huge difference to me. You know, we create a community versus just people walking in and out of the gym yeah. day in and day out. So that's a huge thing, and, and that. If you don't show up, someone's gonna ask. Oh, definitely. Yeah, you show up late or, you know, somebody's not doing or putting 100 percent effort. Somebody's going to notice, ask why, ask how you're doing and all that stuff. So, yeah, it's a big, big thing. Yeah. So this is sounding a lot different than I think maybe some of the um, what's the word stereotypes, you know, like everyone's here, like all beefy and, and hitting their PRs and stuff like that. What you guys are describing is a lot different from that. Um, what sort of people, you know, benefit the most from coming to a place like this? Um, I've been coaching CrossFit for five years now and what I've noticed the most is that the person that wants to just get better at doing everyday life whether you want to carry your groceries in in one trip or you want to be able to I don't know help your aging parents or you yourself are of a more advanced age if you want to be better and more active 
at what you do every day, that is the person that benefits the, the most. Okay. We are here for like a high level athlete. We have ex NFL players, ex baseball players, collegiate football, soccer players, and we're here for that. But I've seen the most benefit in just the everyday person, the mom that needs to have something to release some stress, yeah. um, the older person that wants to make sure that they can uh, be independent longer. Yeah. That's that's where I like. That's special. Yeah, that's yeah. that's way cool. So what? Explain the inspiration behind creating your own gym. What was the kind of emotion behind that? What was your why? Okay. Um, well, like I said, this whole conversation started at our house. Uh, Fern and, and Chris came over to our house for dinner, and we talked about a few things that we didn't like about uh, the other gym they went to, and we also talked about uh, about some of the things that we would have we would love to see in other gyms. So that was inspiration number one. Inspiration number two. I mean, um, I'm really big on you know um, mental health and stuff, and I knew that having a place like this was going to help a lot of people. And that was like, I think the, the number one reason that we started this and it's been doing that and a lot more. So you mentioned before that this used to be under previous ownership, this location. Um, it, it, you guys have a really, really good location. It's kind of tucked away right across from the sports park, you know, right by a lot of activity just off of Main Street. What are some of the things that you guys have, you feel improved on from what used to be here before? Yeah. Well. We're really proud of being part of the Spanish Fork community. Uh, David lives in Springville, but I live in Spanish Fork. I've been here ever since I graduated high school. That was a long time ago. We won't specify. <laughs> but um, we, want, we knew we wanted to keep the name Spanish Fork CrossFit because it's been here for a little over eight years. But when we came in, um, David's last name is Villalobos, which Lobos means wolf in Spanish. So we integrated, if you look at our logo, it's a little wolf with a bicep that's flexing. So we integrated that. We wanted to add us to what was already here and improve upon it. We have lots of members that have been here with Spanish Fort CrossFit for a long time. So we didn't want to show up and say that was bad, we're better. We wanted to show up and make what was good better and us like we wanted to add our personality yeah, sure. to it I love that. but um yeah we love where we're at we're across the street from the wiggy wash every summer when the rodeo is going on mm -hmm. people are driving by and we have to save parking spots for our members but we love being in the middle of it yeah. we love being here and um please come by yeah um yeah what fern said it's 100 percent true we wanted to do uh, better what uh the other owners had and we had members that loved the, their gym and we wanted to keep that. But we also, you know, upgraded other equipment. We brought new stuff. We brought other coaches and we brought, I mean, Fern, I mean, she is a guru on what she does. She is 100% uh, in, in love with this. And that shows in our gym and with our members. Everybody loves her. I mean, you can probably dig deep and find somebody that doesn't like Fern, but it's not going to come easy. I tell you that. Yeah. So if somebody, you know, watching at home and they're like, I got to get down to this CrossFit and check it out, how do they, how do they find you? How do they sign up? Sure. The best way to do it, if you go to our website, SpanishForkCrossFit.com, there's going to be a contact sheet that you fill out. That will come directly to me, and then I will shoot you a text. So you're not going to get like a pop-up version of our information. You're going to get direct conversation with me. Um, after that, I will send you an email with a waiver and I'll ask you what class do you want to come to. I'll ask you, do you have any injuries or anything that you would want your coach to know about? And then we will welcome you to your first class. Yeah. Like you don't have to have any background in exercise. You don't have to know what anything is. Mm -hmm. Just walk in the door and, and we'll take care of you. Cool. That's great. Well, this has been super enlightening for me as I came in here, I think, thinking it, it was a completely different thing. So I'm super excited to share this with, with Spanish Fork. And thank you guys so much for, for, for being coming. here. Yeah. We want to thank Costco for donating the cake for today's celebration. And of course, Spanish Fork Channel 17 for recording and televising this event. I'm Kathleen reminding you to shop local. Mm -hmm.